<sighs> yo, 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 yo. Uh, my name is Jordankis Garcia. Uh, I am a friend of Crockett. Actually, I was having something in my mind to do, but I didn't do it before. But we're learning every day that we fly. We're learning every day that we are inside the sport and we get scared more time and more time we do things because it's the experience about doing. The one that make you research more info about what you don't know. But then sometimes you're talking, I'm talking with the guys just because you're doing briefings, but then you don't get all the information because what you need to get is just on the time when you are doing. Uh, when you are doing your fly, when you are testing a new wing, when you have so much freight to do and more pressure because you're thinking something gonna happen and that wing in the top, uh, when you just try to do pressure, is too much and then you're scared. And actually, it's a strong. Uh, the stronger, the most you fly and the most you climb the day you fly, like you fly more uh, later than night 30 or night 20, or uh, you know, you always gonna have some thermal situation during the day. Uh, we actually don't read too much about about it because we are just paramotor flyers and then we just push in the motor and we go. But the thermo is something so important to us to learn about it because it's something you're gonna encounter over there. Uh, thank you so much to Chris577 from Jersey. Big boy, roster free! Or oh, some roster free. I bought the same wind. Uh, I only have down my arm only 12 fly. In 12 fly I have already three wings. I have the hybrid, <clears throat> I have the Leaf 2S Seta from uh, APCO, two APCO wings, and then the last wing that I got just because it was a good offer that I found the way, an instructor from uh, Colorado, he recommended to me because before I tried to go flying, I, I contact this guy and he sell to me a harness and was so interesting the conversation I had with this guy for one hour. He speak French. Je parle un peu français, on sait très bien. Well, we do, we do we communication. He recommended to me that the best things that I can do for a first flight is to go to an instructor. That's what I did. But then actually, you know, you have to help the people that help you out in some way. Um, I am so respectful for him. Uh, talking about the thermal situation and why we freak out why you feel free over there when you're flying, everybody feel free when he's flying. Everybody feel free when he's doing anything. The only way you don't feel free is when you get fucking hot in your head and you go fast and you don't think and you do your stuff and then shit happens sometimes. Like me, I, I, I had an accident in a motorcycle, I survived, but now I fly. And then I freak out all the same flying because the other day that happened to me, I was flying the first time I was testing that roaster free Man, I fly the roster free 10 30 in the morning. Uh, I mean, condition was perfect, super cloudy, no sun outside, no wind in the ground. Then I take off, was great take off. Uh, when I was about 500 feet, or five, 500 feet, yeah, I was about three miles from the LC. I tried to come back to the LC just because it was enough for me for the testing I did. I knew I was flying 10 30 in the morning. I say, condition perfect, no wind or nothing. Okay, let's go do it. Well, thermos catch me on. I freak out, bro. I freak out. Let me tell you something. I buried my brake from, from the right hand because I want to go right and that wind didn't want to go right. That wind was drifting so bad to the left, drifting, drift, drifting. Man, that I buried my brake to go right. She don't want to go right. Doing my weight shift, I'm braking, braking that way, nothing. Then I say, let me test and go to the left. Then when I, when I do some pressure in my left brake and I do my weight shifting to the left and I go left, then everything was fantastic. The, the turn that I did and I go around for 360 and I get straight up wing again was fantastic, great. Up wing, no speed to go forward. I mean, not too much speed, wind was flying great. Then I do the same thing, applying right brake. The wind don't wanna go right. Then I try to go left again. Okay, I do again, I fly to the left. The circle that I did to the left was perfect. Everything good. Then I did that two more times. Everything was good. I get scared on it. Freak out! Shit, man! I was scared. Yes, it's true, I was scared. I'm a big guy, but I was scared. Don't mind, don't mind. Then I decide to land. I found my LC just in the, you know, in the farmer field. 
um, was clean. Then I landing in that play in that place. I landing downwind, but the landing was great. I mean, I got to the floor with speed, but it was like a foot drag. And then I, it was good. It was good. Not scared on it. Not scared on it. I mean, I, I knew what to do, what to apply in the flare, and when to do it, and then go forward with it. Then everything great. After that, I learned that I read a lot about it. That's why I have 12 fly, but 12 fly with signatures. I mean, you know, I feel safe when I do it because I read a lot and I have a lot of theorics. Uh, and something that saved me on it is I, that I do a lot of uh, advanced ground handling. You know, this is so great. Uh, so they say like uh, the master power paragliding advanced launching. Yeah, all of that is good in the ground launching. Uh, landing it's perfect but even you have this master even you have this master you need something else that is so important to know and is to know your clouds well I have these two that's your aerospace low ultralights low that's so important to know yes I have that one too um, oh I have the most important that I can learning every day that's called Shut up and listen. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah, let's go. Let's follow with this. Uh, then I bought a good book that this guy, um, this instructor, uh, Benoit, that's his name. He used to be located in New York, but he moved to Colorado, to Evergreen, Colorado. And then he recommended to me uh, that I got this book. Uh, this book, uh, it is uh, Understanding the Sky by Dennis Hagen. A sport pilot guide to flying conditions. Uh, this book is a, a pilot need to understand the way of the sky to fly successfully and safely. It's so true. Uh, in this book, you have everything explained things, the way it goes in the mountain, uh, everything about the polar, north polar, south polar, Ecuador, how things work on it. Uh, what different uh, clouds you have in different altitudes. What's the name of them and everything? That's perfect. This book is perfect. I love it. I read this book, but again, I get so a little tired on the book. And I follow reading, and I got, I got um, this book is good. That's coming with the course of Paramotor, the Power Paragliding Bibles. It's a perfect book. It's good. Have a lot of info inside. Has so many things on it. It's a good guy for you just after describe whatever you want to go forward and what you're looking at for learning some more. This book is perfect. I love it too. I read it. I, I'm learning a lot about him. But still, need a little bit more because I get scared. I have to land in a place that was in my LC. Then you say to yourself always when you're being in a situation so scary like that, calm, calm. Yeah, but the only thing you want after is the ground. Then if you really have a little more of theory in your head that why that is happening, how I can react to this, then you're more safe on it. You are more safe on it. Uh, then I got this book, uh, this book, uh, Paragliding, a uh, pilot training manual, the complete reference from A to cross country. Uh, then with this book, you can do your uh, United States Paragliding Paramotor test. You'll be able to do it with this book. Yeah, this book have everything, questions and everything. On it. Uh, but well, I didn't find everything I need on it, and I'm still searching for why I freak out. So, Chris, here I have the question. Here I have the recommendation about the book, the, the book I found in Cross Country Magazine. That is so good. It's all this free, uh, free flying pilot. They talking about it. And um, Cross Country Magazine coming out to the market in 1988. Since then, they following up the free flying. Um, well, I found this beautiful book on it that called Thermal Flying for Paragliders and Hand Glider Pilots. Actually, this book is not like a regular book that you read that is a school book. No, it's not like that. It's just a regular way a pilot talking just like you and I, we're talking uh, right now. Just like how I can get more info that is more easy for me without just to be feeling like I'm in school. And it's just like because I am doing something that I love to do and always researching for info that will be so great 
and helpful for myself and so on my safety about when I get pussy or when I get freaked out or when I get scared or all that kind of words that no everybody accepted. Then this book gonna make it happen. Then what happened with me that day? I found that I found that in this book actually it's beautiful pictures on it. Beautiful pictures. Um, actually, um, it's a, let me find something about thermos. A uh, picture of a thermos, 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 come on. Oh, right here. You see it right here. You see the formation of the thermos, how the thermos go, uh, how the reaction are. Uh, and then if you're flying around this area and you feel drift to the left, if the wind, you feel drift to the left, is that you are going to the core of the thermo. That's why you're drifting to the left. Then if you begin to fly around the thermo, doing circle of 360, not too, not too close, a little bit open, then you'll be able to fly away from that. But you don't can be like fighting on it. Just you need to find a way how to fly away and just how to do it. Then this book is like so great for us, Chris. And well, I hope that can help you. And thank you so much for talk about that and be honest with you. You made me you made me do this video, and um, well, uh, it's all the same. I'd be so glad this guy here, what's his name? Uh, that's a, a Mr. Martins. Uh, Mr. Martins, he was the one that did this book. Uh, he have a, a Bruce Smith has some work in this book, so it's so good book to have. Flying thermals. Talk about different kind of clouds. This book is like talking about the same this book talk, but in this book is the perspective from a pilot. In this book is about the theoretical side, how they are, really how they are. So great book, but this one is so like fantastic in myself because I'm flying. So like the same things he's flying. Then thank you so much. Um, Chris, hope I help you on it <laughs> with this. Uh, we might freak out time too.